Hello, hello, welcome back beautiful people. So in today's video y'all, it's all about the eyes. So basically what we're gonna be doing is kind of wrapping up the beginner friendly makeup series. Um, if you have followed uh, up to this point, you know that in the first video we discussed the foundation, concealer, and powder techniques that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, in video two, we discussed the highlighting and contrast and in video three, it was all about the brows. So, you guessed it. Today, we are only focusing on wrapping up um, our eyes. And, and again, keep in mind, this is or was, this has been a beginner friendly makeup series, which means we're not going to get into all of the really intense eyeshadows and you know wing liner of course those are things that'll come down the line but what I wanted us to focus on in this entire series is making sure that um, the techniques that I showed you guys are things that you can actually do and feel more and more comfortable doing as you practice so what I'm gonna do is we're just going to kind of deepen the crease just a little bit using our true complexion contour palette also keep it in mind guys that everything that we've used throughout these videos these are things that can be used um, interchangeably. So you can use, even though we use this, um, this contour palette for highlighting and contouring, we're also gonna kind of use it to deepen the crease. We're going to smudge the lower lash line a bit and then we're going to just pop on some lashes. And this is going to be a full on flawless, beginner friendly makeup look that you could wear to the office, to events, whatever. You're just gonna change out your lip color and go on by your business, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm just gonna take sort of a, um, this is a, a fatter uh, e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. That's what this brush is called. Um, of course, you can get e.l.f. brushes anywhere where their products are sold. I typically, you know, run to Target quite often, so that's just where I tend to get mine. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the brush into the contour shade. I'm gonna dust it off a bit, and we're just going to kind of smudge underneath our lower lash line. And this is just to kind of give your eye a little definition um, because at this point our eyes are really, really bare. Now you could easily skip this particular step and go straight into uh, popping on those lashes, but I like to just kind of do this. Y'all, this is even a really good technique if you wanted to add a pop of color, but you're afraid of all of the eyeshadows and everything. You can actually smudge a colorful shadow um, underneath the lash line as well, and it always looks so beautiful. So if you're looking for a little color, like girl, listen here, we are just looking a little too matte, not enough color for me, go ahead and take a nice Nice colored shadow and smudge along the um, lower lash line as well. So for the crease, we're simply going to take a, um, a nice fluffy blending brush. This brush is a MAC 217. I absolutely love this brush, but honestly, it's much cheaper brushes out there that also do the same thing. So go to e.l.f. Um, just make sure you have a, uh, a fluffy blending brush because what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little product on the brush and we're just going to start to kind of go right in that crease area. Y'all, we're not trying to cut no crease we ain't doing none of that fancy stuff we are simply just adding some color into the crease we're gonna do the same for the other eye Y'all, y'all notice how quiet I get up around these eyes. You know, you got to focus on some of this stuff. Even though this isn't the, the, the more intense thing, it's more so going to be those bright, I mean, the um, lashes. But some of this stuff you just can't quite talk and do. So, I have a mirror over to my side as well. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't get too out of hand. with the blending or more so with the uh with laying the color and just continue to blend y'all until your little heart is content 
because the thing about I feel like a, achieving a very flawless makeup look is making sure that you have everything looking nice and blended as opposed to seeing like lots of harsh lines and everything. So while I continue to kind of talk to y'all, um, I'm going to go ahead and pop some glue on my lashes. I feel like one of the um, one of the the common mistakes uh, people make when it comes to applying lashes or attempting to apply lashes is not allowing the glue that you're using not allowing that glue time to really get tacky um, and what I mean by that is sometimes people might try and uh, try to put a lash on they put the glue on and they go right into they, they just place it right on onto their um, to their lash line but the issue that you're going to continuously run into when you t when you do that is the la because the lash glue is not tacky or sticky in a sense it's going to just slide all over your eye. I usually will put the glue on my lash. I would, you know, I'll sit it to the side and maybe 30 seconds or so. Um, I'll go back in, uh, 20 to 30 seconds or so. I'll go back in and then I'll go ahead and I'll place that lash on my lash line. I'm just going to place it and y'all will see me do that. I'm just going to place it on the lash line and then because the glue is tacky enough, I'll be able to kind of position that lash um, wherever I need it to go. Okay. So it's not going to be like I'm putting a, a, a lash on my lash line with wet glue and then it starts to slide and here you go. It might slide into your foundation. You just really never know. So you want to allow time for that um, glue to get pretty tacky on the lash band. Now, one thing about lashes, y'all, is I definitely love them. I feel like they can easily take your look from a one to a 10 all the way. Um, but I feel like when it comes to finding the perfect lash, any lash that does not have an extremely heavy band, I definitely would recommend going for that lash. I actually showed y'all um, some lashes that I picked up from Ulta. Uh, maybe in, I, I want to say it was in the beauty haul video. And I absolutely love the lash, but y'all, when I got the lash home, it was gorgeous on. But the lash band was so thick, it just didn't, it wasn't like an effortless an effortless, effortless application. That's what it wasn't. Um, it's like I put it there. I had to keep holding it. It was too much because I feel like the band was too thick. And I've never been one to, you know, gravitate more towards like a, a real thick band because I feel like you have to do far more work. So I basically have applied the glue to this lash. I gave it some time to really get tacky. Hopefully I didn't let it get too tacky to where I'm gonna have to apply some more. But to tilt my head back a little bit, find the right position, and I'm just simply going to squint, y'all. And I'm just gonna place it there. So if you notice, the lash is just kinda look like like it's gonna just fly away. It's just sitting there looking like it's gonna just flicker, you know? That's what you do, or that's what you can do once that glue has gotten tacky because it's not moving. So now I'm just going to take my time and position this lash, making sure that I'm getting it on all ends. And I tend to kind of go in sections. So I may start with the tail um, or more of like that, that um, winged out part of the lash, I kind of position it towards the end, and then I continue to make sure that it's as close to the lash line as I could get it. Now my eyes tend to water y'all when I'm putting on lashes. So I basically just have a nice clean Q-tip handy. And I simply just kind of place it in that, um, in that tear duct, the inner corner area. And I'm looking in my mirror right here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead, pick up my other lash, 
and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let me pop this lash on before this glue dry on me. So I'm going to do the same thing. I hope y'all can see. And I'm, I'm trying not to get so much in the way. But I'm basically, basically going to sit the lash there. Just like I did for the, uh, for the right eye. It should be tacky enough at this point to where we can kind of position it to where we need it to be. And again, I always start from the tail or more so the wing part of the lash because I want to make sure that um, I have that position before I start playing around with the front because then if you don't and you start trying to position the front of the lash, y'all, it's been times I done pulled my whole lash off. So there we have it. We have both lashes on. Um, the next step is just applying some mascara to really kind of tie together the whole look to finish it all up. Um, then we will pop on a lip, y'all, and the look will be complete. This can be an everyday look for some, but maybe more of a special occasion look. I tend to go for more of like that natural, flawless look. If I don't have time to do everything, I'm not going to, to get started and halfway do it. So don't y'all do that either if you don't have time to blend all that eyeshadow then don't even waste your time trying to apply it um, but we are going to pop on mascara and then some lips and we're gonna be done y'all so when it comes to mascara I am using the Maybelline um, the falsies push-up drum on mascara I feel like this is a great mascara I've been using it y'all for quite a long while um, but honestly just use whatever mascara you got don't run out trying to just you know um, buying a particular mascara just because you heard somebody else use it and you think it might work for you just use whatever you have because when you're wearing lashes don't nobody care about the brand of mascara it's what kind of lashes you got on Okay, don't forget about the lower lash line. Make that ugly face we all make. Because this particular part's, part takes concentration as well. The next thing I'm going to do is take the smoldering eyeliner that we used in video three, um, which is the one we use for brows. I'm just going to take that eyeliner or take the eyeliner and I'm going to run it run it across my lash line, my water line, I should say. So, that's the eyes complete, complete. We aren't going to add any more, um, any more contour shade in the crease or anything. We're done with eyes. So for lips, y'all, let's just, you know, I told y'all my favorite color, um, or one of my absolute favorite uh, lip colors is black. I, I, I have so many different colorful lips. Um, I think let's do a, like a purple today, a purple-ish blue. Um, so the first lipstick I'm going in with is Matte Royale um, by MAC. It is a matte color, matte colored lipstick.
Y'all, this color I love. Hey, I get quiet when I'm doing my lips too. <laughs> I get quiet when I'm doing my lips too. So let's not stop there. I'm going to top that with Royal Hour by MAC. Now this, the first color I used was a matte lipstick. I absolutely adore mattes. Um, I just don't like all the gloss sliding all over my lips and all over my face throughout the day because I'm one of those people who I don't take um, lip liner with me. I don't take all these different lip choices and all that throughout the day. I might touch up with a paper towel and when I want to put my lipstick back on, if it's not a liquid lipstick, I just want to put that lip lipstick on. It's not going to be none of that. Let me, you know, pull out a five, five different products to get my lips back together. No, no, because I never line my lips. So we're going to top this again with Royal Hour. It's a metallic lipstick. So we're basically just going to take a couple passes. Ooh, y'all, that's bright. <laughs> that is bright, y'all. So, y'all, this is my completed look. This is my everyday look. Um, my going into the office look. My, hey, let me go to this event look. I mean, this is honestly an everyday look for me. I mean, if you wanted to go back in, you could easily, you know, throw on your little con little bit more um, highlight if you feel like you don't have enough. This is completely fine for me, and this is it. Y'all, I am hoping that now that we've wrapped up the beginner-friendly makeup series, that you guys are able to just, you know, even if it's not all of the techniques I use, hopefully you're able to pull from some of those things. So, in a true fashion... Let's continue to give some things away. Um, so in this video, the uh, giveaway will consist of the Ardell Wispy um, Lashes, a deluxe pack. So there will be three winners. And all you have to do, as with all of the other uh, giveaway rules, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Let me get a thumbs up a like comment down below uh let's see comment down below and let me know if you are definitely a lash girl so whether it's yes yeah, sharika i would absolutely love to wear lashes but i don't really know how to apply them or if you're that person like girl we done done enough i will not be applying no lashes i'm gonna just throw on some mascara so let me know which which uh which one you are um i will be leaving this oh follow me over on on, uh, Facebook Southern City Lights my Southern City Lights Facebook page so just those few things and then you will be entered in the giveaway the giveaway we'll just go ahead and end this on Friday which is I'm filming this on the 4th so let's do the 8th so the giveaway will be open until the 8th. So be sure to enter and win. I appreciate all the love and support thus far. Um, please continue to uh, keep coming back. Let's see how much fun we can have together. Hopefully at this point, though, y'all have subscribed. And you ain't just being no lurker. Subscribe. Subscribe subscribe. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Leave any extra questions you have in the comment section below. And I will talk to y'all soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.